Air refueling is a very crucial mission for the Air Force. I think it what separates us from some of the other Air Forces of the world. This is the ultimate force multiplier. It is what provides the U.S. Air Force with the ability to truly be a global force. This is the boom. Part of a complex fuel system comprised of more than 60 valves and pumps on board a KC-135, the boom is capable of transferring more fuel in eight minutes than your average neighborhood gas station can pump in 24 hours. Aerial refueling is what enables American aircraft to go anywhere anytime. The KC-135 is the primary uh, air refueling aircraft for the United States Air Force. The National Guard houses about 48 percent of that capability. The mission uh, is basically to be on time, on station, to meet your refueler so that he can go on and, and meet his mission. The rendezvous is, is the most critical part of the air refueling from a pilot standpoint because we have to meet another aircraft in space someplace around the world. Our mission is to get that aircraft on station at the right time so then the boom operator can go back and complete his air refueling. The boom operator is an enlisted air crew person that actually uh, controls the boom. Uh, what we do is we transfer the fuel from our aircraft to the receiver aircraft. The boom is the apparatus at the end of the fuselage of the 135. It's basically a long nozzle um, it's got um, some rudder flight controls on it. We use it to position the nozzle into the receiver's aircraft's receptacle. What we actually do is uh, the boom operator will fly the boom into position as he's communicating with the receiver aircraft. And once we have them in uh, perfect position, we can extend the boom and insert the, um, the boom into the uh, receiver's receptacle. Once that contact is made, we can transfer the fuel from our aircraft into theirs. The KC-135 Stratotanker can carry up to 200,000 pounds of jet fuel and can offload it to a receiving aircraft at more than 5,800 pounds per minute. During the refueling operation, the two aircraft share a 30 to 50 foot connection via the extended boom while traveling at speeds of up to 580 miles per hour. With the fighters, it's typically between about 12 and 18,000 pounds of fuel. They're in and off your fuel tank in, in about five, 10 minutes, pretty quick. Uh, the C-17, when we were flying uh, into the uh, theater over in Iraq and Afghanistan, they would be on our boom for about 40 to 45 minutes. And that's flying along with all the pumps going, you know, offloading everything you can. He's actually one of the most dangerous aircrafts to be in close proximity with. He's really big compared to us and he gets a lot of air moving around and it can be very dangerous if it's not done very slow and precise. A lot of things are going on. There's a lot of radio traffic in your headset. The atmospheric conditions are causing the two airplanes to bounce and you know move and yaw and the boom has to be able to anticipate all of those actions and be able to concentrate and focus solely on that receptacle uh, until he gets uh, you know, a complete contact and connection with the receiver aircraft. The Michigan Air National Guard's 127th Wing flies and maintains eight KC-135s, providing the capability of strategic global reach. These pilots, boomers, maintainers, and support personnel all serve their state and nation by ensuring the boom is where it needs to be when it needs to be there. Whether it's fighters, strategic airlift aircraft, or bombers, we need to be there to give them the gas so that they can go do their mission. You're not going to win an air combat war without tankers. It's just paramount to winning that conflict, so nobody's going to do it without tanker gas.